When I was just a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns. But I shot a man. Hey folks, Mike Schramke with Larry Stone Sand Equipment, America's largest selling coyote dealer and Tennessee's only five pot premier dealer. Uh, today I thought we would uh, play with some guns. So uh, I know most of y'all are, uh, you know, not offended by guns. If you are, you might want to, you know, we hope not to offend anyone. But anyway, we're going to play with some guns. Uh, just a little target shooting. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thomas. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, wrapping up this third function and putting the tire on. Me and John were going to go out uh, to the side pasture and uh, shoot a couple of the guns I brought today. You're probably way too busy. You know, I just cleared up. All right, let's go. All right, you know how sometimes you walk by the safe in the morning and you hear the whimpering? You don't love me. You don't take me anywhere. You never take me out. I couldn't stand it anymore. I heard it. Yep, exactly. We're here. So, We're here. I know everybody likes modern weaponry. I do too. But today we're, uh, we're going to shoot some, uh, some old school and some old school, another one that's not old school, but it's old school ammunition. Thomas, in your hand there, as you well know, you've got an M1 Garand. Sir, 30 out 6. That's right, built, <laughs> built in 1943. It's all original. John, in his right hand, has a uh, 03 Springfield, also built in 1943, and it's all original, numbers matching. And then a 4570 Marlin Crank. And John, what about the 4570 government? government you can trust. That's right, the only government you can trust. All right. All right, guys, so you can see we've got a CK2610 here with a KB2475L uh, set up. This, we're going to use this as our shooting rest. I know, right? Well, let me give you a little idea of what we got going on here. we got about a 20-yard range, so we're not really looking at marksmanship and accuracy Thank here. We're, we're just having some fun. Let me pan around here just for a second. This is out at our back lot here. We've got a nice little target set up down range at 20 yards and our favorite people, Kubota, John Deere, Mahindra. Sorry guys. Let's do some shooting. All right, while well they uh, load those two, when the government uh, first started using cartridges, as opposed to uh, muzzle loading. The round was 4570, 45 caliber, patented in 1870, right after the war, the War of Northern Aggression, the War for Southern Independence. This, folks, is a 4570. Holy cow. Right? Yeah. Um, an effective round at uh, short range, it would be like throwing a cinder block at the uh, buffalo or the enemy. Um, not a lot of velocity, but a massive round. Uh, what is the grain weight on these? They're, uh, it's something ridiculous. 300s and change? Yeah, it's uh, 405. 405 compared to like a 45 caliber ACP, which is 240. Uh, nasty, nasty round. The uh, the Garand takes 30... Oh, I'm out of the camera now. <laughs> which you probably all appreciate. The Garand takes 30-06 Springfield. Uh, it was invented by the Springfield Armory for the U.S. government in uh, 1903. The 03 Springfield, guess when that was patented? That's right, 1903. It had uh, manufacture and service all through the uh, Second World War, and it was used through Korea, and it was used for sniping in Vietnam. Also 30 out 6, a nasty round. Uh, the, uh, the 03 Springfield is a bolt action. The uh, Garand 
is a semi-automatic, which uh, the first time that a major uh, uh, army went into battle with a uh, semi-automatic rifle, and uh, it just flat worked. Um, Thomas is the only uh, veteran among us, and uh, Thomas, uh, can you imagine uh, running across a sand dune with that chunk of lumber? It wasn't made for weight, was it? No, it, uh, the, uh, the ergonomics are lacking a little bit, but it is a sexy rifle. It is, and it's extremely accurate and uh, extremely reliable. Uh, good weapon. So, um, since, uh, since I brought the toys, I'm going to shoot first. I'm going to shoot the uh, 45 70 uh, one shot. I'm on which row am I? All right, now I'm ready. Hearing protection. 4570 government. Top right. Not the boat target. What? Let her rip. Anybody else want to take their uh, 4570 shot? If you're off. Yeah, well, if you're off. You got a crank? All right. How satisfying is that? All right. Thomas? He took the crank fun away from you. He did. Bad Sorry. form. Have it. Bad form. <laughs> I won't cheat you. <laughs> Leave the breach open. Who's next? Well, let's go in an order of secession. All right, that would put the 1903 up next. Exactly. I wish I had a Craig. It would have been between these two. Thank that would, you. Okay, that would be nice. A Thompson would suffice, too. A Thompson would be nice. <laughs> Which one am I on this? John Deere. First one? Yeah. Love the peep sights. That's satisfying. <laughs> Surprisingly, very little recoil for such a... For a 30-06? Yeah. It's, it's good know, and heavy. Heavy round. You know, Thomas, with uh, the amount of training you've had on weaponry, if, if we beat you, it's going to, well, be embarrassing. Not for us. <laughs> this is true. Okay, next we have the Garand. Invented by John Garand, just a just a wonderful weapon. Okay. Which one am I? Top. Top left. Top left. Again with a peep sight. Outstanding. <laughs> There's just something about it you don't want to let go. <laughs> Thomas, after you shoot, we'll give you the honors of uh, emptying it and we'll all listen for the ping. That would be my pleasure. Are we on Mahindra now? Uh, Kubota. Kubota top. top right. Top right. Oh my god, I hope we got that on tape. It blew the awesome. back of the support out of the target. Go ahead, Thomas. Let's listen for it. That's uh. the one. <laughs> All right. Well, we will uh, we'll tally our results. You know, the old guy can shoot. Hold on. All, All right. right so, Let's Mike. See. Mike on. Okay. Not so good on the Mahindra. On the Mahindra. Forty-five seventy. 
center target. Hey, you're in the black. Yeah. 03 Springfield. Man, you took the deer's nose off. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, no more Rudolph. Woo, look at the grand. What is that? That's a half inch off center target. The old man can shoot. Yeah, I'll give you that. I'll okay, give you who's that. next? John Mahindra. Yeah, not so nope. not Kubota as good. Kubota did well. Yeah, not as good as in the Kubota. Yeah, John. Uh, I grazed yeah, him. Yeah, dead on on the uh, deer. Mahindra was a bad shot. Yeah, yeah, 45 seven. Yeah. Off the target. Look at Let's see what Thomas got. I think the Mahindra was a miss. Mahindra's right yep. here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. That's a 45-70. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no, this is uh, one shot with a 03 Springfield. Other three shots are going to be with a Grand. Yeah, yeah. That that hunt is three inch no more. Same thing in the Kubota. You're in the inner circle. This little guy. That's a what about that little guy? Yeah. <laughs> that's the one you blew. Yeah, yeah that's when you blew the board up. <laughs> okay, who had fun? I, I had did. Fun. I had fun. You know, it'd be more fun is if we did this and then sold something today. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Not bad for a Friday Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. Thank you, folks. Hell yeah. So well, that was fun. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If uh, if you would do me a favor, uh, subscribe to my uh, my YouTube channel. It uh, the numbers help raise our visibility and uh, quite honestly it helps with uh, with our business and uh, and it's kind of fun if you uh, if you subscribe and, and uh, allow uh, automatic uh, notifications um, we only put out a video you know once a week if that uh, so I don't think we'll inundate you and uh, if you ever get tired of us just uh, just delete us and you know I won't know it and so it won't hurt my feelings. But uh, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thanks for watching. I was gambling in Havana. I took a little risk. Send lawyers, guns, and money.